consists of, uh, of two sequences. Again, it's, uh, it's frame stacks, so I'll just import these two uh, folders. And there's always, see, there's like uh, these thumbnail uh, files. They, they just give an error, just let them go. So uh, this contains a sequence of, uh, of uh, oh, a nice green field thingy uh, with, uh, with uh, some uh, boom stuff up here. Um, then we also have this clip with uh, with the bison being uh, uh, moved around by uh, like a trainer thingy on a blue screen. And um, we would like to put this thing on top of this thing. And um, and there's a couple of different things that we need to do to do that. First of all, of course, we need to. Uh, uh, key this thing out. So I'll just start out by doing a uh, key light on this. And uh, grab the color picker. Control shift uh, the color. And you can see this, it flickers. So you have to hit it when it goes black there. That's good. So then it has a nice blue color here. And if you want to get rid of this uh, thing, you can just control right click. Then it's uh, gone. Um, let's look at the alpha here. Use the screen gain to sort of get rid of stuff. Most of the stuff. Maybe use the screen mat here to get the rest of it out. Yeah, something like that. That's pretty good. Um, <clears throat> so now I have a clip of, um, of the bison just uh, moving around. Um, and if I, in this case, I'll actually use a separate merge node. So I'll press M here, create a merge node. This is the foreground, and oops, and this is the background. And we get something like this, which is uh, pretty good. Um, but what I would uh, like to do now is uh, to mask this out, and uh, to do that, I will add uh, either a roto or a roto paint node. For this, I'll just use a roto. And if I put that in here, so that I have the roto node uh, yeah, going in, or oh, sorry, the background, or oh, the bison clip going into the roto node, then um, the roto node will uh, adapt to its format. Uh, on the other hand, if I'm not doing that, it will it will use the system settings. So you can see right now the roto node thinks it's 2K Super 35 full aperture because that is the default settings in here, in our settings panel. But as soon as I plug in something, it will adapt to that format. In this case, it's uh, NTSC. Um, so that, that's how it usually works. So what I want to do here is to create a, ma a mask going around the, the bison here so that it, uh, it will key out um, the backdrop in a, um, so that I don't get all of the garbage around. It's uh, interesting that you also call that a garbage mask. So, so I'll just, uh, I have my tools over here. As you can see, when, uh, when the Roto tool is, is active, I get these uh, tools over here. So I can just start drawing. So I'm at frame one. And I, I'll just give it a good space here around. And then, of course, I have this uh, ground thing here that I have to consider. So I'll try to get close to, to the legs here. And then maybe move it over here. Oh. Get that over there, there. So as you can see, that can, go, uh, can take a little bit of time. Uh, something like that. Hopefully it's not moving its legs too much. Uh, there, 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 and there. And then I'll just give it some space up here. There we go. So this will uh, create a mask. 
So you can see now I have uh, this masked out, uh, which is a great thing because then I, in the merge node, when I'm looking at that, I can plug this into the mask and then it's only uh, that area that is getting uh, the stuff. Yeah. Um, so that is, uh, that is kind of good. Um, the problem is that it's moving, so I need to need to adjust my uh, my mask. And this is by the, by default, this is animated. You can see I get a little blue tick here. So if I go to uh, maybe the last frame over here, you can see I'm lucky that it actually didn't move its feet. So I don't have to fiddle too much with the things at the bottom. But he he moves his his head. So I move it over there. And then I usually, what I do is I'm sort of breaking it down, uh, halving it every time. So midway would be around this place. Just try to make it work and then break this down. That works. What about here? So I need to make sure that the stick isn't in the picture and that all looks sort of good. Let's see, and then, then let's see if it works. Ooh. Yeah. yeah, it's good. So it's done. So um, if I look at this clip now, <coughs> what you can see is uh, we have this bison that is a little bit big, standing in the middle of a, of a field. Good. So the next thing I want to do is actually make it a, a little bit smaller. And this uh, gives us a new interesting uh, situation that uh, I want to make it smaller, but I also want this thing to become smaller. But uh, there's actually two ways to do this. Um, the obvious one is to, uh, to add a transform node here and then make this smaller. But then, as you can see, the problem is that the, the roto mask doesn't move along because I'm only doing it here. Uh, and then I can uh, copy paste it and then take this one and move this, uh, see, move, uh, move that out of the way and then take this over here and then plug that in there and then it'll work because now I have two of the same thing. <laughs> And I actually can uh, link these two together. But as you can see, this will uh, make the whole, um, the whole graph a little bit uh, messy. So let's see if there's uh, something else we can do. So if we look at the rotor node, right now it will output to alpha. But uh, what if I just create something new? Call this uh, mask thing and just uh, have it uh, as one channel like this. Go, okay. Uh, didn't we add it? Didn't I add it? I put to masking. Merge one, non used for mask. Say what? Ah, uh, yes, because I'm not going to use that there. I'm going to put it over here. Right? What? Why is it complaining? <laughs> no? Evil thing. It might be that this one kills it for some reason. Let's just see. Uh, oh. Interesting. No, nothing there. What did I do wrong? I did something wrong. <laughs> okay, never mind. Let's not waste any time on this. I'll just keep it out here and do it with two transform nodes. Um, looking at this one, and then going over here and just put this in alpha for now. And set this to alpha as well. There we go. 
uh, grab this node and then go and say uh, clone so you can see now I make another transform that is a clone of this transform and when I plug it in there they will be the same it's a bit more messy than what I intended to do but, um, so when I move this around you can see that both of them moves because these two are essentially the same uh, movement so that way I can put um, this um, Python in anywhere in my scene like so um, and it should run nicely like so so that worked um, so uh, f for now uh, just do this and I'll, I'll try to figure out what I did wrong that was strange.